Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, I want to have a chat about something that I mentioned briefly at the end of my Nara video, but I wanted to do a whole video on it, going through my reasoning for this, and that is saving your normal and epic summons at the start of the season. Now, if you've already done them, don't stress. I just know that through this early phase of the season, we do get a ton of rewards because every day you're opening up a new section of the map, getting at least three epic summons. Uh, with your AFK stage progression, you're getting a bunch of normal summons, plus with each boss that you kill, you're getting an extra two normal summons. You're getting more through your faction towers and stuff like that. You do get a fair influx of summons in this early phase. And my recommendation is, or at least what I'm doing, you guys don't have to do this, but I am not summoning any of them. Uh, my standards or my epics, which I'm sitting at 112 at the moment, uh, I'm not summoning them until... Uh, Lenya comes over onto the standard banner. So in five days and 12 hours, that is on the global server. Now you would have seen my test server account that I went ahead and summoned on yesterday. Now that is in a different situation. On that account, I still need to get copies of a bunch of the epics. And like, I'm, I'm talking I'm one copy away on Eren, one copy away on Smokey. Those would really drastically impact my account. So I'm obviously going to keep summoning, trying to get those. Now... If you're someone with a pretty built account, I look at mine as a pretty good example. Uh, you know, it's been played. I think I started this account like maybe uh, two weeks after global launch. And you know, it's pretty solid. Like I've got all the key heroes built. There's nothing that I'm absolutely screaming from, uh, screaming for out of the um, the S levels. There are some that I would definitely take and we'll take a look at my wish list in a sec. But you know, I'm happy to save and wait for Lenya. Now, why Lenya? It's not just Lenya. Now, when we look at our wish list, now I will do an updated full wish list video going through absolutely everything. Um, but essentially over here, because they have refused, uh, they, not refused, they just didn't. I, I still think, I, I still really hope they do readjust this and add some of these other characters into these two shops because it, it's just, this shop sucks. It essentially is what it is. Like, the, the shop's trash. I, I don't like it at all. I And we were all expecting extra heroes to add to the arena store and the dream store, but they are not. So the fact that they are not adding more heroes into this dream store means that heroes that you cannot get from that shop instantly go up massive in value because you're not effectively going to be able to get them anywhere else. I mean, when we look at the global server, we're three days in and in three days, we can get one copy of Sauron. Um, you know... It's not that crazy, in my opinion. Unless this income goes up drastically, uh, this shop is really bad compared to the Dream Shop. You can look at my Dream Shop. I, I have 50,000 points here. So the reason is I, I'm just basically saving until I can get those copies. I'm actually considering as well putting Soren on this wish list because I can pick these two up from the shop. Whereas Soren... I can't get him anywhere else. And eventually when we start looking into Paragon, which I know sounds like a crazy idea for free to play, but you know, we're getting towards that section. I think I've got like 13 Supreme Plus, you need 25 Supreme Plus. Like everyone helps. So maybe I end up putting Soren in there. I haven't decided on that yet because he just, he feels trash and would be literally just to get him. Um, sorry to the Soren lovers out there. But essentially over here in the Wilders, even though we have so many good Wilders, you know, we have the Arden, we have the Damien, both fantastic units. Uh, I think you just want to have Almus and Lenya in there and then pick these two up from the shop because we're not going to be able to get Almus or Lenya anywhere else. Now, yes, they may eventually add them over here into the season store and eventually you will be buying something from the season store. But when we look at the cost of it, I, I mean, I'd probably rather pick up an S level here uh, as opposed to a A level. So that's kind of the theory I'm going off because the A levels are just sort of you know, you can gradually get them. I, I, some people think differently than me on A levels and S levels. I completely get that, but that's kind of what I'm looking at. So I really do want to be, have the ability to obti obtain my Lenya and my Olmus, especially they're the two big ones from last season from over here on the standard wish list and also over on the Epic wish list. So that's why I am stopping. Now, when we take a look at why you should probably hold out on summoning as well, and I will hit a point eventually where I probably stop summoning because if we look over here, when I talk about the shop heroes, as well being lower value 
When I look at my account, my Shakira, I need two more for Supreme Plus. McCullough, I need a ton of. Elsa, I need a ton of. Uh, Vala, I need two of. And her, I need, I think, four of, I, I think is where I'm at. Uh, or something along those lines. So I do need copies of these heroes. And these are heroes that I cannot get from the shop. Now, we also have Ludovic, who is another one that I can't get from the shop. But I, And Florabelle is another one. So you can see there is still a fair few non-shop heroes that I can get here. Now, there's two ways you can play the Epic Summons and the... Um, standard summons is that wait till the heroes you really like come into the shop and then you go or just make sure you don't have any shop heroes in here because once again we've seen by the way that they're not going to add new heroes into these now if that changes think this whole strategy will change but basically all of these heroes i never want to have them on my wish list obviously i had Huon on my wish list for a little bit um because i was and obviously you can see my stockpile here i was anticipating getting more of last season's heroes into this shop and that's why i have this massive stockpile but now i can just go ahead and start building these heroes i'm honestly holding out the cap on these is 100,000, so i hit the cap and bought a Huon copy uh, and I'm just going to float. Once I hit the cap, I'll buy a hero. Once I hit the cap, I'll buy a hero. Because I am kind of holding out hope that they do change their mind on this and add heroes in it. But essentially, these heroes you do not want in your wish list because... Obviously, you've got this currency that you're really not going to use for anything else because you can see I'm buying out all of the stargazers and I still got the, these points coming at the wazoo. So I'd rather make sure at least on my epic hero wish list when I'm summoning here, I am not summoning for a shoppable character. Now, eventually, you might get to the stage where you're going, once again, for Paragons or something like that, and that will change. If you don't even know what Paragons are, then don't stress. You shouldn't really be in a place to worry about this. But it's just an interesting thing that I've been thinking about a lot. And like I said with uh, Lenya, she is very pivotal in this season and she will be even in the endless mode in Orson. I don't see her not being important in the Orson uh, boss fight. Uh, from people testing with one copy, they think she's not good, as good as Elsa at one copy. She needs her Mythic Plus. So really with her, you want to get those copies. But once again, I wouldn't recommend because she's in niche in her usage and it's that one boss. I wouldn't recommend using your diamonds and rate up tickets on pulling her before she disappears because she's not part of this season we got other heroes coming. I think it's better to save. That's me personally. You guys do what you want. But by the same token, I do want to get as many copies of her and hopefully eventually get her into that Mythic Plus range. And the best way for me to do that is to save on through all of these summons and pump them once she drops over there. And once again, maybe um, maybe I don't get lucky and I don't get a heap of copies, but by not summoning, I've got an extra 112 here and 46 here. That should give me a good chunk of A levels and hopefully, you know, maybe get her maybe about 10 copies of her. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll have to wait and see. But that's just something to think about. I also had the thought of even putting A levels eventually in this wish list. I'm still not a massive fan of that. It's going to take a while for me to like hit that stage because when you put a levels it's really stupid the way they go with a levels on the radar banner you get eight of them on this thing you only get five so a levels get kind of shafted in this and like i said i think a levels are just in a weird spot in the game and they don't really know what to do with them precisely but it is what it is but once again that's my sorry about the massive ramble but i just wanted to give you guys my thoughts around summons behind the shops and stuff like that behind trying to be as efficient as you can with your summons but that is my thoughts i am going to be waiting for lenya once again if you're still on an account where you're just trying to get the main heroes built then go ahead by all means summon but for saving for five days over here uh to have a bunch more summons to hopefully get some more copies of her then i think i think it's worth it and if you are someone who doesn't have almost built yet and you have still Arden and Damien on the wish list, I would definitely be slapping Olmus in because I was heavily weighing on the fact that Olmus was just going to come into the dream store and then I was going to just beef him up straight away. But unfortunately, that is not the case. That is not where we're at. And you do have to just get him through summons. And once again, Lenny would be the other one that I put in there. And then the only other one, A level so far, that we can do. Uh, is going to be Siren, but once again, that's a tough one for me to do because these two have their uses. He doesn't really. For me anyway if you use them good work but uh not for me anyway guys that is gonna be it for this one as always thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers